What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 cheap point guards in NBA 2K20 for my team lads. So, anyway, we're going to be looking at guys from uh, Sapphire Emerald tier Easy Rubies, and that means that like CP3s, I'll add Sam Merrill's not, because Sam Merrill's a little bit more difficult. Really easy Rubies. And yeah, that's what we're kind of looking at more, so... More so than like just going for all gold. So Sapphire is the highest tier that we can use. Because like, let's be real. You get a Sapphire in like two hours of playing. So it's not that bad. 10k an hour is more than achievable. So anyway, we're on to number 10. We're into the golds. And at this stage of the game, we still haven't gotten a great amount of cards. But at number 10 for cheap is Damon Jones. 300 salary, so really cheap. Perfect for salary cap right now. 89 three ball, pretty decent release. His speed's not terrible, and his height's not terrible either. So that's the one thing you look, you have to look at, is that he's got a couple of nice shooting badges. He's really cheap for salary cap, so he's an effective player at times. And I just don't think he's bad at all. I think he's more than good enough for, like, a lot of teams to, be, to run. I don't think he's great, but I don't think he's particularly bad if you get what i mean but it just shows us how weak these start of this list are i don't even have numbers nine and eight so number nine is gonna be let me just search where is it position point guards it shows how many of the guys that i have number nine as far as cheap point guards go is gonna be russ i actually kind of like russ I like at the start of the game, when I was using this guy, he was very effective. So he's not the worst three-point shooter in the world. He'll hit wide open. He's got 81 speed. His defense isn't great, but it could be a lot worse, if we're being honest. And 68 driving dunks a little bit iffy, but still, not too bad. Especially with a salary cap of 300. He's going to be more than usable as your like, third string point guard. He's fine on the floor. And for really cheap, he's here. And then we've also got a actually a shooting guard I was like I was trying to find if it's a shooting guard and it's a lower tier version of what might be the best point guard in my team Kyrie Irving so he's still got a possible three ball still got the ball handle still got the dribble sigs he's kind of slow but he's still Kyrie Irving he's still got the Kyrie animations and at 600 salary he's fine like got a lot of bronze badges he's perfectly perfectly fine and now we're getting on the cards that I do have all of them for the last players on this list. I love how the simplified menu just made everything more difficult, but um, doesn't really matter. At number seven, we're actually going to go with Derek Fisher. So he's got that boost with the duo with um, Robert Ori, which is big. What Derek Fisher gives you is a decent three ball, good movement. I kind of like his speed and his defense isn't bad. Is he undersized? Yeah. But he's not a bad option to run. Good release as well. Cooked me way too many times. And 400 salary. Yeah, he's really nice. 400, like... Man, salary cap is playable now. Salary cap might be playable now. What are these new cards? A D Brown, 1400. Derek Fisher, 400. And Derek Fisher's better than D Brown. But uh, yeah, so that is number seven. At number six, we're going to go with Machu Della Vadova. So, what Machu Delvedova is, is just pure defense. He'll hit a wide open three ball. And I mean wide open because that release is not great. But he needs to be wide open. He's got superb defensive attributes. His 79 speed is pretty nice. He's got 88 lateral quickness, which is good. And he's 6'3", so he's not small. Again, 1,400 salary is a little bit expensive. You want to use him for that. But I will say he is not a bad option at all. If you look at the badges, nine goals, including like clamps. He's a goal 94 feet, so he's going to be a pest in the full court press. So he's he's got a lot of uh, good things going for him. I'm, <laughs> I'm being honest, like Matthew Delavadova is a very nice card. And at number six, he's a good a good option. And then there's just the smoothness of Goran Dragic. I don't care what his ratings are. He's 6'4". He's big. He can shoot the three ball super well. And at 300 salary, you're not getting anyone better. Relay pass is actually not a bad badge to have at all. Um, it's one of those badges that later on in the year you're going to get boost because every player on the court is going to have relay passer. 
So like moving the ball is going to be effective. But he handles the ball well. He passed it really well. No, not really any defense, but he's 6'4", so he's got some height. And for me, he's really not bad as a um, cheap point guard. Then a really easy agenda that I've not done yet. Okay, so I got Duckworth, I got Max Struess. Let me sell my Duckworth that I paid legal tender for. Let me sell the World Be Free that I paid legal tender for. Okay, cool. I got Marcus Smart. I did not even... <laughs> I just haven't looked in this menu in so long. But, uh, yeah, so... It is, it's CP3. Like, CP3, 7 layups, 20 assisted Warriors plays, 30 and 10. It's a super easy one. Like, you're getting him in a half an hour. What you're getting with Chris Paul is one of the better point guards in the game. Honestly, he's a little bit undersized, but you're getting a good three-pointer, getting great defense, you're getting great, or decent speed, great passing, and you're getting a lot of badges. So, for, like, for free and for an easy free grind, you can't do too much better. A card player that I really like. But last three are probably going to surprise some of you guys. Number three, we're going with Steph. I haven't searched point guards here. But Steph, I like him. I think he's really good on offense. I think you're getting a guy with an unbelievable three ball, great range, and he's just, the way he moves is different. I think this new Steph is going to be the best card in the game when he comes out. But he gets a lot of good shooting badges, whether it be on bronze um, or on a few on silver. A really good offensive point guard, and I think for the cheap offensive point guards, he might be the second best in the game because I think the best cheap, relatively cheap offensive point guard is Brandon Jennings. He can curry slide. He shoots the three ball. He dunks a little bit. He, his movement is a joke. He's way faster than Steph. Player build isn't the greatest, but he comes with five um, five gold badges. And like as far as movement goes, he might be number two only to Kyrie as far as totality of point guards in this game. What a freaking card in Brandon Jennings. I'm telling you guys, he is a must pick up if you're looking for just to have fun with a point guard and you're on a little bit of a budget. But for me, the best point guard in the budget is... Um, is he here? Charlie Ward. Charlie Ward. So Charlie Ward has got a great three ball of 81. He's 6'2", but he's an absolutely locked end defender. He's got like catch and shoot, comeback kick, clamps. His release is unbelievable. He has the hardened shuffle, which not a lot of guys have. An unbelievably quick release. Great steal and perimeter defense. Great speed, speed, ball acceleration, and lateral quickness. He's literally just... Um, Della Vidova without the broken release. And you might be saying, oh, he's only a gold. He, the guy does have an Evo. So how do I even how do I even see this? Out of player, it's automatically on Derek Fisher. Like, what? How, how, is, how is this easier than Evo top? Charlie Ward, Evolutions. So all you have to do is score 25 points with him and he gets a boost to speed. He gets a boost to passing, I guess. And he also gets all of these badges upgraded. So he gets a lot of great defensive ones. I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a cheap point guard in this game, Charlie Ward is by far, and I mean by far the best.